Okay, Joe here. I'm in Photoshop CS6. If you notice, this is my background. I have two colors loaded, red, and then my background color is about an off orange. I'm going to start first by making the background. So I'm going to go to New, File, New, and I'm going to set it to Width 100 and height 100. Since the, I'm making a favicon, they're not very big and so I need to start with an area that's small and then I'm going to make it even smaller to the 16 by 16 size that all favicons are supposed to be. I have my little canvas. I'm going to zoom in by holding down Alt and then zooming in to make things a little bigger. And then the first thing I want to do is I want to fill the background with the color I want. Um, here I have this um, off orange in my background, so I'm going to hold down Control and hit Delete, and that fills my background with the orange. If I hit Alt or Option Delete, then it fills with my foreground color. So those who are learning Photoshop, um, this is for you. So I'm going to go back to my other color, Control Delete, and now I have my background. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Shape Tool. Uh, that's on the left over here and then go down to the very bottom it's custom shape tool and I've chosen to use one of these um, custom shapes to make my favicon so let's just pick out the foot here um, in case you don't know how to get all the shapes loaded go to this down arrow click on this and then on this little wheel over here on the side, or it looks like a gear, it's a down arrow. Go down here to all. And then it says replace current shapes with the shapes from all. Go to append. And that will load every shape possible that Photoshop has in it. And I like the foot, so I'm going to go with the foot. Uh, we'll see, where's the foot? There's the foot. Okay, now I have my fill and my stroke up here on the left, top left. My fill is red right now. I'm going to keep it as red because I want the, the red um, in the foreground and the background color to be this off orange. So now I'm going to draw my shape. I just line up this here, this um, cursor, the top left, and I click and drag. And that produces my shape, my foot. So I'm just going to fill this image here with this foot. And there it is. Um, it has that background color, or this black outline, because there's a stroke on. I don't like the stroke, so I'm going to undo this. And I'm going to take the stroke off. No stroke. Now I'm going to try this once more, one more time, because I didn't like that stroke. So I'm going to pull out. Looks like the toe's going out of bounds a little bit. So after that, I'm going to use my position tool on the top left here. And I'm just going to reposition this foot in the center of this. Once it's centered, I'm going to select another tool so that this outline is off. And there it is, my foot. The thing is, this is a favicon. We're not doing any um, high-tech designs here. We just want to keep it real simple. I have two colors, you know, a foreground color on a background. I have my foot, I have this. So that's all I want, really. Nothing, um, you can't, see, it's only going to be 16 by 16, and it's going to sit in the window of the browser. Um, it's really hard going to make out any minute details anyway. So now I'm going to go to um, image, image size, or you can hold down Alt Control I, Alt Control I. That brings up my image size. Now I want my width 16 and my height 16. So you want um, down here it says by cubic automatic, by cubic sharp sharper, best for reduction. So I'm changing this by cubic sharpener, best for reduction, and I'm reducing now the size. So here it is. This is my favicon. I'm just going to zoom in so we see it. So it didn't, you know, this is the resolution it's at at 16. That's what it looks like at 16 by 16. Um, I can try image, image size, and my resolution is already 300. So it's not going to resolve to anything much better looking than that. Um, 
so that's it that's what I get for um, for my image so I'm gonna go to file save as and then if you loaded the plugin I wrote about earlier in this um, message you can go to save as window icon dot ICO and that's the format the favicon needs to be in so I'm gonna save it to that and then really important right here when you name it it must be named favicon.ico otherwise it's not going to work so I'm going to name it there and I'm going to put it on my desktop standard ICO used for favicon.ico that's the format and that's it um, if you want a better looking favicon it's I would experiment more with the custom shape tools and see what um, better resolves out of that and that's it for this video Thanks for watching.